guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to share with you how to make my homemade hamburgers. And these are the ingredients you're going to need to make this. You will need garlic powder, salt, black pepper, parsley flakes, paprika, milk, Worcestershire sauce, cayenne peppers, jalapeno peppers, white onion, mushroom, egg, day old bread, marble cheddar, one kilogram of lean ground beef, and eight to 10 slices of bacon. These are the buns that we're going to use for the hamburgers, and these are the toppings that I'm going to use. We have iceberg lettuce, tomato, red onion, and marble cheddar slices. Now we're going to start to begin our prep. We're going to start out with the cheese. I only need 200 grams, so I'm going to cut it in half right in there. And I'm going to cut it into six pieces because I'm going to make six burgers. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then each one is going to be cut into cubes of four each. One, Put that aside for later when we start to make our burgers. I'm gonna begin next. It's up to you how how much you want to use, but the jalapeno pepper I'm only gonna use one because I'm making this for my kids and they don't like too spicy. So we're gonna cut the jalapeno pepper into small slices. Let's try to get all the seeds out as much as we can. Right? Thin slices. I mean, if you don't want any of the seeds, you can wash it off. I'm just gonna leave it in just for a little bit of spice. Small pieces like that. I'm gonna go in my mixing bowl here. Now I have my mushrooms here, which I'm gonna slice them up in small pieces as well. All right, that looks right. about right. I'm gonna transfer into my mixing bowl. Next is my onion. My onion, I'm going to only use half, half an onion. Okay, transfer to my mixing bowl. And I'll be back to show you the next step. Next, we're gonna dice up our bacon here. We had, I said, eight to 10 slices, but you could use less or more. It's on what you prefer. And then transfer to the mixing bowl here. It's falling everywhere. Okay, and now I'm gonna add in to this, my ground beef. Okay, this is the very key ingredients to making these burgers. It's gonna help the burgers 
be more juicy and hold together more. We have our day old bread here. I am not gonna use the whole thing. I'm just only gonna use about 80 grams. And so I'm just gonna add about this much. This is about 80 grams, okay? You can use any kind of bread. And then I'm just gonna use just the inside of it. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add in the milk. And we're going to keep smushing and mushing them together until they all combine together into a kind of like an oatmeal texture. Have you ever had oatmeal? That's what it's supposed to be. All the bread absorbing in there, see that? All right. Just like that. So I'm gonna put that aside and I'm gonna get my mixture here. And I'm gonna add in all the other ingredients. Now we're gonna add all the spices to this. So we're gonna add in cayenne peppers, garlic powder, salt, black pepper, paprika, dried parsley flakes, Worcestershire sauce, bread and milk mixture I made earlier. I'm gonna give it all a good mix. Also need to add one egg. And continue to mix it all together. After they're all mixed together and all the ingredients combined really good. We're gonna put it in the fridge. We're gonna seal it. Put it in the fridge and let it marinate for 20 to 30 minutes. And then I'll be back to show you how to make these burgers. While all the burgers are marinating in the fridge, I'm gonna prepare all of the, our toppings. Ta-da, all done toppings for our burgers. So the burgers have been marinating for about 20 minutes now and now we're ready to make the patties. Just gonna grab about, say a fistful of the mixture here. I'm just gonna roll it together. Flat it down a bit and then I'm gonna make a little a little hole like this, like so. This is where I'm gonna stick in my cheese. Okay, and now we're gonna, I'm gonna use my palm here to flatten it down. All the way 
now. I have my first patty. And I'm going to continue to make five more. Our grill and I'm in my backyard right now and we've heated up the barbecue to about 450. It's ready for us to put in our burgers. Wow, look how big they are guys. Nice, big and juicy. Very good. Hey guys, while I'm waiting for my burgers to be cooked, I'm just gonna give you a sneak peek of my garden here. And if you know me, you guys, you know I love chili. I planted about five different kinds of chili peppers. We have here ghost pepper, habanero pepper, green pepper, Thai chili pepper, bell pepper. I think that's, I don't know what other kind of peppers we have, but Maybe in the next video, we'll show you guys how to cook a special dish with these peppers. Let's check on our burgers, guys. Oh, wow. Look at them. So big and plumped right now. And they're ready to be flipped over. First guys, I need to toast my bun. Okay, it looks like the buns are nice and toasted. Get my burger here. And I'll meet you back inside. We're gonna add the toppings. And we're going to try this together. I'm going to tell you guys how I like to dress my burger. So I like to layer with a little mayo. Oh. What I have here is this hot sauce. It's your poultry sauce. But it's just like... um a spicy barbecue sauce but it's nice tangy and sweet it's not spicy okay next i will add on tomato slice red onion slice and then the iceberg lettuce. You can also add the marble cheddar cheese slice, but my kids are more of a fan of that. I'm not so much of a fan of that. The cheese is marble cheddar is already inside the hamburger. So I'm just gonna go like this. Okay. Here we go, guys. 
my homemade hamburger. Let's try this. Hmm. Hmm. I'm close to look at that. Oh my gosh, look. As soon as I took a bite of that, look at the cheese. This is the best homemade burger ever, guys, and you have to try to make this at home. Guaranteed you will love this. And if you love this video, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe and thank you for watching, guys.